Hello guys, what is up? Tarard's move here with another super super exciting tutorial and ridiculous skits all of the time. <laughs> so two things we already learned uh, from uh, the previous video that never judge a book from its cover and never judge a movie out of its color grading. <laughs> Alright, so uh, right now we are going to learn how to achieve this teal and orange look. Now, teal and orange look is, uh, I don't know, becoming so popular in these uh, blockbuster uh, movies on Hollywood. And uh, today, this is what we are going to be creating. As you can see here, teal and orange is basically, well, the orange is obviously uh, the uh, skin color and anything that close to skin color. And then the teal is the blues, blue colors, uh, which is uh, anything basically but the skin color. <laughs> so as you can see here, there you go. There's, a, there's the uh, teal and orange. And I made all this, look at that face. <laughs> I made all this using only the new Magic Bullet Colorist 3, which is far more powerful. And there is one thing I love that uh, with this tool i want to kiss all of the all of the people inside the red giants <laughs> and uh, that tool is the key this key tool is more powerful than the new lock in fact this key was the reason i moved to the uh, well to the davinci resolve but after uh, they got this key feature right here i probably gonna just stick to this color the three again for now to color grade and color correct my footage because it's far more easier and I don't have to leave Premiere Pro which is my editing software. Alright so let's just get started from the beginning. So the beginning is of course just a flat profile from my s 2 profile from my Sony A7S which is a very awesome camera and no I'm not sponsored by Sony so Sony if you want to sponsor me <laughs> why not. Alright so <laughs> and uh, color corrected as you can see here and then color graded and then adding even more blues on the mids right there now back in the day i can't do that i can't add some blues to the mids to the mids and now with the key features look at that very beautiful and now boom teal and orange back in the day i only can do a little bit of uh you know um well basically adding some orange to the mid tones and shadow to the to the um to the shadow uh shadow to the shadow blue to the shadows and right now i can put some blue to the mids too thanks to that key feature all right so let's just get started i'm just gonna delete all of this and then okay let's just get started first of all let's find magic bullet colors to three and chicka boom boom bam boom boom we're gonna put there and the first thing of course we're gonna color correct the uh, the footage first so we're gonna play with the shadow uh, punch it down a little bit because it's so flat by the way <laughs> as, as lock 2 from sony a7 is very flat and brings up the uh, mid tones a little bit highlight up a little bit so we get a, a perfect contrast here i really love this look let's see Maybe down a little bit for the mid tones, like so, and then of course punch up the saturation, and boom, chicka boom, boom, bam, boom, boom. Well, it's uh, gonna be enough for now. Let's uh, adding some pop. I love pop. It's like uh, adding some, um, you know, uh, details to your mid tone, and then uh, play with the shadow. Let's see. Nope, just leave it there. Highlights. Nope, for me, just leave it there. Well, depends on your video, guys, of course, if you want to color correct it. Now, we can play with the curves probably up a little bit. Um, this is for the S curves up here, and this is for the highlights, I believe. Yep, there you go. Just a little bit, and then the whoa, the mid tones. There you go, and then for the black, 
I like to punch a black. Let's see. Yep, there you go. All right, so we already color correct our um, footage. Now the second color tree, we're gonna put it down uh, below the first one. All right, so for the second one, we going to color grade our video. So this is where things uh, start to get exciting. Now for the shadow, we're gonna punch it to the blue because hey, it tells an orange. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right now. <laughs> Is the blue? Let's uh, let's see. All right, probably just about there. And then for the mid tones, we're gonna punch it up to the warm side, which is the complementary color of the blues, of course. That's the reason why it what it why is it called? Uh, what is it called the uh, chills and orange on the first time? And uh, until the uh, color of the skin start become starting to looks right. And uh, yep, there you go. And then uh, let's play with the HSL a little bit here. So probably, if you watch a lot of Hollywood movie, I don't know why it's so popular right now, uh, or probably just a lot of videos. Um, the blues, uh, I don't know. They love it when they changing the blue to uh, a little bit of cyan color here. As you can see here. Well, that's what we already did. <laughs> Basically, move the blues to a little bit to the cyan side here. Look at that. I don't know. People love that so much. <laughs> and in the cyan, a little bit to the green. Let's see. Yup. That's this looks weird, but uh, I don't know. That's what's so mainstream today. And in the green, also a little bit to the blue. To the cyan, I mean. Just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. So you can see here start to look weird, but that's what we want for now. And uh, probably the skin is too crazy, so we're gonna. Let's see. Probably we're gonna. By the way, guys, this uh, on the left side over here. This, if you are working on DaVinci Resolve before, this is like a lower range or higher range. So the higher you go is like affecting, as you can see here, uh, affecting more on the higher, uh, higher side, uh, higher range. But for the lower, it's only affecting the lower uh, range. So we're gonna just put it down a little bit. Let's see. Ooh, too much. Oh, look at that. Actually, actually, depends on what you're going to achieve. Uh, color grading is all about you and your movie mood, so it's all about, uh, well, up to you. <laughs> let's see here. For the shadow, also, let's see. All right. There you go. It's already affecting the mids for now. Let's be honest. All right, probably not so blue. Let's see if we can just play it a little bit more. Yep. Again, guys, this is up to you, by the way. But uh, for this tutorial sake, for the uh, teal and orange, there you go. And then for the uh, for the um, uh, skin area here, skin colors area, which is the uh, around here, and uh, for the yellow, let's 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 just move it a little bit to the orange side, and then the uh, red also move it a little bit to the orange. And then uh, sometimes we play with the uh, um, mid tones or uh, make it move to the uh, orange side. You gonna basically well maybe you can you cannot see it but uh, there is some kind of magenta color there and we don't want that so we're gonna decrease the magenta and the uh, purple or uh, color. As you can see, it's kind of uh, changing a little bit if you can see that. So there you go. We already basically got a basic teal and orange right now. But for me, I want to add a little bit more blue to the mids. So what we can do is we're going to add another color Colorista 3. And what I love about Colorista 3 is it's much more lighter now. And they got this. The key. Holy crap. There you go. The key. Now, uh, as default, they're going to pick the skin color so as you can see here it's already uh, did a good job here for the skin color but as you can see here this is the selection uh, area here they select they select the skin color area but we want to do the opposite we want to make everything blue except the skin color so what we're gonna do we gonna just do this basically boom as you can see here this is the, the blues color as you can see here look at that the blues <laughs> 
Yep, there you go. Look at that. It's only affecting the uh, uh, the white. Uh, the white is uh, represented. What uh, affected the guys? By the way, as you can see here, this is a shadowy area here. But we don't want to affect the lights because it's gonna looks creepy. So let's see. Let's see. We play with this. Yep, this is already good actually. Boom! There you go. And we're gonna, as you can see, it's kind of, it's kind of noisy a little, little bit, and we don't want that, so we're going to soft it a little bit. Now, these tools uh, uh, are there on the DaVinci Resolve, and and back in the day, colors that don't have this doesn't have this. So this is why I love this key feature so much. Basically, I don't have to leave Premiere Pro uh, since well, right now <laughs> you can play with the clip, but for me, I don't want to do that. Yeah, you can you know even more woo, but I don't want to do that. All right, so just okay And what are we gonna be uh, what are we going to do now? Well for the shadowy area? Let's add a little more more blue to affect the mids Let's see Boom and then let's punch up to the So you can see here the mid tones start to add some Some blue color boom there you go even more up there, but not too much because you're gonna look sucks. <laughs> and uh, we punch it a little bit down. As you can see here, I'm just gonna do it. Uh, if you do it less slow, you can see the, the uh, color that we actually affected. But of course, we not going to do that. Just a little bit, just to add some little bit blue on the mid tones, like so. Alrighty, guys, look at that. Holy crap! Boom! Hollywood style, baby. Inside, inside Premiere Pro right now. Don't have to leave Premiere Pro. <laughs> All right. So this also answer uh, answered uh, some of your question. Hey, can I don't really want to learn another software like DaVinci Resolve? Can you just do it with like Red Giant products and Premiere Pro? There you go, guys. I answer it. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah. Thanks to my friend that actually told me about it that uh, hey Tara you should check out Colors of 3 it's awesome and I, I tried it out and oh my god it is awesome alright so um, let's say hey Tara is getting red I don't like this red thingy <laughs> I want it to be yellow thingy alright you want it to be yellow thingy and uh, you can do that by just uh, export the, your color grad, uh, grading as a, as a lot Oh my god, you can do that, Tara? Yes, you can. If you bought the uh, Magic Bullet suit, you get the free uh, Lot Buddy. Lot Buddy is free, and you can download it, uh, by the way, as uh, separate features, I, I think. I don't know. Back in the day, you can. But now it comes at a product. So, what you're gonna do here, let's see, we just delay the Lot Buddy here. Oh crap. Yep, there you go. Lot Buddy. So, uh, we're gonna see. Alright. Just type in lot buddy here, lot buddy. There you go. Click and put it before any color grading you have. So before uh before the colorista. And for this one, we're gonna choose draw pattern. So as you can see, it's just basically the draw pattern, and then color uh, color colorista, and then you're gonna create another lot buddy. So just control copy control C to copy and control V to paste it and then uh, there you go and then put put everything all right I'm just gonna delete all of this first it is confusing put now put it after your color grading color grading so uh, put it down here for the second one and then now choose the read patterns you see here the pattern starts to change. It's basically reading the color grading. Now, after you done that, well, all you can, uh, all you gotta do now to export it as a lot, go here to set up, and then, oh, sorry, don't don't want to close. All right, so now from there, from here, whoa, why you can export a lot? What the heck? All right. What the hell? <laughs> Let's see. But a lot read pattern. Don't want to export a lot. What the heck? All right. Let's see. Um. There you go. I don't know why it wasn't working. Just, just do what I do. If you, if it doesn't work, probably it's have to be full or something. Or you just want to just play the video and blah blah blah. 
uh, until you can export your lot. All right, so export your lot and then name it anything you want. Till an orange colorista for me. Save, blah blah blah, and then click done. Boom, and you can just use Lumetri looks now. Let's see, we're gonna boom. As you can see here, and then find Lumetri in the. Uh, if you're using Premiere Pro CC, there's a look thing called Lumetri Lux, and then just pick anything. Basically, Lumetri Lux is uh, a plugin to import LUT, just like a LUT buddy, but I love this so much. I used it a lot, and then just pick the, uh, pick the, uh, there you go. Boom, and you're done. There you go, guys. <laughs> Alright, so now create your own LUT, and, uh, have fun with it and uh, use Magic Bullet Carpenter 3 because it's awesome. <laughs> As you can see there, boom. Awesome. Yep, kind of struggling a little bit right there. So, just half of the rendering for me. Boom. There you go. But a lot lighter. I mean, I use like three colors through three here and it looks awesome. Alright guys, so Terra Art movie here. Thank you for watching and this is how you can create a teal and orange look inside Magic Bullet Carpenter 3. And uh, yep, there you go. And uh, thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing, and sharing my video. And uh, see you in the next school videos and tutorials only. It's our arts. Ha ha ha. That was that was awesome. <laughs>